Hi there, how's it going? My name is Dhruv Bas, and in this video, I just want to walk you guys through how you would connect and integrate with Canva so that you can uh, create uh, you know, many, many different variants of your standard brand templates. So to be honest, the motivation for creating this video is that it was a challenge to get this going. Especially because, unfortunately, even though Canva has a wonderful sort of UI and creator experience, the issue is that it doesn't have a good uh, sort of API or developer API. And, uh, you know, maybe the enterprise version is much better, but for the pro users, it just isn't there yet. And I feel like if they don't fix this issue, they are going to experience some issues going forward because companies like Banner Bear or ChatGPT even are going to be more and more heavily used if, if Canva can't fix this problem. So with that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate how this more or less works. And then we can dive into the specifics while the project is executing. So essentially what I have over here is I have made a Canva connection. This is the API that we're posting to. And the template that I have looks something like this. So this was this is not the actual template. This is just a uh, edited version. But um, you know, we'll, what we'll do is we'll just replace this text with something else. So we'll just say Canva walkthrough, right? We'll just say Canva walkthrough. I'm going to hit save, and uh, I'm just going to run this. Okay, so it says that it's completed, and uh, it's definitely not completed. It's just submitted the job, so it's in progress. Now, here's the issue. If I take this ID, and if I try to make a GET request to Canva with that ID, so this is just a previous ID that I had done in the past, it actually gives me an error, because for some reason, we don't have the scope to read uh, the API and I'm guessing this is because of the enterprise account thing. And unfortunately, they, they've restricted certain endpoints to pro users. And you know, I personally have gone through a lot of the scope over here and you know, made sure that everything's active, registered for their data autofill API and all this stuff. But um, you know, that's just how it is currently. And they have advertised everywhere that you will not be able to utilize this Canva integration um, if you don't have an enterprise account. So I'm also a little bit uh, a bit scared that they might take this out and uh, not provide this functionality anymore. So the client that I'm working with, I'm going to make sure to create another alternative because that way, you know, it's not like two months down the line when I'm done working with them, turns out that Canva has turned this off and they have to come back to me. So make sure to provide them an alternative in case this, this feature is no longer available. And just to tell you, when I was emailing back and forth with Canva, they, char they require you to have 25 accounts for the enterprise version. And if my math is right, I think each account is like 12, 15 bucks a month. And you multiply that by 12 is probably three or four grand that you have to cough up to be able to use this um, functionality if they do restrict it. Anyways, let us go back and see if the design is done. So if I go over here, if I go to newest edited, just reload. Uh, let's go to designs. It was edited. Sweet, I think I think it's done. Yeah, yep, sweet. So it was able to do that, which is very nice. And you know, in your examples, you can also replace this. You can replace this, whatever you want. But this was just you know a test of this functionality. And uh, let me also quickly show you guys how this sort of works in the back end and how to set this up yourself. Uh, here you have uh, the option to create integrations. I would just I'll just provide this as a link in the description so that you can go here. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, 
you, there's just some things that you have to take care of. So if you don't have, if you log into Canva using your Google account, you'll have to go and create a password first so that it will request you to do that and uh, you have to set that up. And then you have to set up multi-factor authentication with your, um, with your phone. And uh, I just used the Google Authenticator app to do that. So to create an integration, you log into developer portal, just click this link, it should take you there, go to your integrations. Now, here's the important part. It says that your integration will be public and available to all your users. So this is scary, right? Like if you're making this for a client, it's, is this going to be like providing access to my client's um, key and uh, uh, the secrets and the designs, but, when I went in an email back and forth, they said that that is not the case. And also, as long as your thing is in draft. So if I go up, you can see that my integration here is in drafts. As long as your, your integration is in drafts, that should not be an issue. So, I mean, that's that's the email back and forth I went with, with them. And that's what they said, that this is not an issue. But um, yeah, so it's slightly scary if you're doing this for someone else. Okay, once you do that, then you create your integration. And to configure your integration, once you've created it, you just go over here, set your name, generate a client secret and ID. That's essentially how you get your Canva API uh, connection going. Okay, and then you have to obviously make sure every single of these scopes is available. That way you're not restricted in any way. And you also need to register for this, uh, this access over here. And that I think takes a day, but to be honest, you should just go and test and see if it's working without this, um, without this access, because what I did was I, for some reason, I was trying to read and I expected that to work. And since that failed, I thought maybe there's another issue. So I went in an email back and forth and I submitted this and that took about a day. So I don't know if the access granted was because of this or because it was just always there. And all, the only thing I had done was read and sort of thought that because the read is not allowed, why the heck would the, the write be allowed as well? But uh, okay. And then you set up, uh, so when you're doing the authentication, um, when you're creating this Canva connection, you'll have to uh, also provide this as your redirect URL so that when it comes back, it is able to get back to make.com. So this is the one that you have to place here. Otherwise it will not work. Okay. So that should take care of the authentication side of things. Let's see if there is anything else I need to cover necessarily. Uh, no, I don't think so. If you want me to cover this in much more detail, you can uh, you can drop me a message and then I can try to show you how this would work for images and so on. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for, for joining me in this video. If you are a business owner and you would like to have me set up something like this for you or set up other integrations for you, please uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'll drop some links in my LinkedIn in the description. But uh, anyways, thank you so much. And I hope you got some value out of it. Thanks. Bye-bye.